Many breakups could have been saved from happening if people had noticed the red flags in their early dating stage. Today's video is essential for single people. Do you know how many couples that are unhappy and on the edge of a breakup or divorce? The answer is a lot. Please pay attention to the four red flags I will be sharing in this video so that you can minimize your chances of becoming one of those unhappy couples. By the way, disclaimer here, when I use the word dating or dating stage or early dating stage, I refer to single people who go on a date and get to know others. These people haven't officially commit to anyone yet. With that being said, let's jump right into the four red flags in early dating that you should pay attention to if you're a single. In early dating, chances are you and your date will go to a coffee shop, a restaurant, or somewhere in public during the process of getting to know each other. My advice is to pay attention to how he or she tricks people around you, like a waiter or a waitress. It doesn't matter how fancy the restaurant they take you to, or how awesome the university that they went to, those are meaningless. You learn a lot about someone based on how they treat others. Their behaviors speak louder than their resume. They will treat you nicely, of course, because you guys are on a date. However, if your date treats the waiter or the waitress disrespectfully, then you may want to reconsider going further romantically with them. There is never an excuse for someone to behave disrespectfully. A disrespectful person is a disrespectful person. If he or she disrespects others, then there's a chance that they may disrespect you later when you two get comfortable. They may even disrespect your family members or your friends, and no one would ever tolerate disrespect in a relationship unless they have low self-esteem. There's no way the relationship could be happy and thriving when one behaves disrespectfully. Let's say you want to eat a particular food or watch certain movies, yet your date likes something completely different. This is a great opportunity to see if you both can figure things out together. This is really what happens in a relationship. Compromise. No one would like the exact same things as you do, even if you had a twin. My boyfriend and I have compromised on certain things for the happiness of both of us in the relationship. This is what happy couples do. Sometimes they compromise and sometimes they let the other person make a decision and next time will be their turn. If you notice your day has asked to do things based on their preference only, then try suggesting doing things your way. If they are unwilling to do things that you enjoy, it really tells you something about that person. You want a caring and a loving partner. Someone who can compromise so that both can be happy in a relationship. You don't want a one-sided relationship, do you? So next time, when you meet your date, suggest doing things that you would like to do and see what their response is like. Are they happy what you suggest to do? Or they tell you to do something that only they enjoy? It takes time to learn about someone. When you're in the early stage of dating, you don't know your date completely. If your date has already started asking you to meet their parents, saying I love you or that they want to commit to you, then you need to be careful about getting official too quickly. When someone doesn't take the time to learn about you, and especially you haven't known much about them yet, don't get into a relationship with that person. Often, the person who rushes the process of committing is the one who doesn't know what they are looking for in a partner. That person only wants the experience and the feeling of having someone by their side. This is dangerous. Many couples and marriages come to separation because they realize that their partners aren't a good match for them. This happens because they rushed the early dating process. They didn't take 
take the time to actually learn about their date to see if that person is compatible with them or not. So learn from those unhappy couples. You want to take a good amount of time to learn about your date. Especially, he or she will potentially share their life with you. The next red flag in dating is when you and your date don't share the same values. And what are the values? Well, that is something that only you know. I can't decide them for you. For example, if your value is to have children later in life and your date shares that he or she doesn't want to become a father or a mother, then there's no way you two can work well together as a couple. It doesn't matter how attractive your date is or how well they perform in the bedroom. When the core values are not aligned, there's a guarantee that you and your date will not work well in a romantic relationship. So before meeting someone, ask yourself what your core values are. When your date appears not to match with your values, you would know that they are not the right person for you. You would then save your time and your heart from the wrong people. So here are the four red flags in early dating. I hope you learned something from this video. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a like and also share it with someone that could benefit from it. If you have any questions about relationship, dating or love, then feel free to let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on so you can enjoy more of my future videos like this. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have a great day. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!